Substack tutorial for beginners, how to use Substack to create newsletter. To get started, we need to first visit the website, which is substack.com. And this is the main homepage. And Substack is an email newsletter platform, and it has a simple interface and ability to publish and monetize posts on the web. It has made it a game changer for writers of any skill level. For journalists and writers, this is a good platform to use. And also from this platform, we can create different newsletter. So let me show you how. But first, we need to first sign up by clicking this Start Writing button up here. And it will redirect you to this page where you can connect your Twitter account if you like to. Or you can just simply skip it. Then just provide your email and then click agree and continue, then your name, and also enter your bio here, just tell about yourself, then here's your publication name, and also you can see here your personalized web URL. And before we continue, we need to also add here what's about your publication, so I will just enter here how this gossip and continue. All right, so over here, you can also import your mailing list. So you can just select your, the CSV file if you have. But for now, let me skip it. And then you can also add subscribers. So you can add friends and family, your subscriber list. And you can just enter their email over here. Let me just skip this part. And then you can also dive into your interest. So just select the topic here that you are interested. So here I will be selecting some topic. And then once you're done, just click continue. And it will redirect you to this page where you can select writers you might enjoy. So here is the suggested writers that we have here. So we can select all of this. We can subscribe to the seven writers. So here we have the option. You can uncheck if you don't like to. But for now, let me subscribe to the seven and continue. All right, so we successfully set up our account. Let's click, let's do this. And now here is our main home dashboard once you sign up. So before we proceed with the creation of a newsletter post, let me first show you inside Substock. Here at the top, we have different tabs. Currently, we're in the post. You also have your podcast over here where you can create your own podcast, which is so awesome for this platform. And then next is the subscribers is where you can monitor your subscribers. And also you have your stats here to check your performance and the statistics of your account. And also you have here your recommendations. So now let's go back to the post and let's create a newsletter. So to get started here under create, we have different options. So let's just get with the new post since we will be creating a newsletter. So here, before we start writing about our newsletter, we need to first set up our email header and the footer. So to do so, you just need to click here. And now we can add some banner image over here. And also here's the recommended size, which is 1,100 pixel by 220 pixel. And it should be PNG file. Then you can also add some header here for all your newsletter posts. So here you can just add your company name and maybe your company tagline if you have. And then lastly, you can also add your photos. So here you can add like follow our social media accounts just like that. And after that, you can also send test email to your own email account and see if you like the look of your email header and the footer. So once you are done with that, just open the previous tab and now you can start writing your newsletter over here. So first you can add your own title. So for example, I will title this test topic and then you can also add your subtitle over here. And then down here you can see my publication name, which is tests, since that's the name I set up earlier. 
And here you can also invite additional writers or journalists if you like. So just click on this plus icon and then just enter the guest name or their email to send the invite. And once they accepted that, you two can now write together for this newsletter post. So once you started writing here at the top, you can change the text style. If header one, two, or three, it's up to you. And then you can also make some text bold if you like, make it italic, strike through. You can also highlight some text over here and then you can add some link if you like. And then you can also insert image, insert audio or code. And you can also add different buttons like for example, subscribe now and also share this post. So share. And then you can also add some live comments if you want. You're ready to comment on your post and also more buttons here to select from. And once you're done writing your newsletter and add some buttons, you can now preview your post. Just click on preview up here and you can see here the mobile view. And of course, you can also change it to a desktop view if you like. And then here you can also view from the website or from email. And lastly, you can also view for the free subscribers and paid subscribers. And then once you're okay with everything, just click the test over here and you can have a secret draft link and you can share this with anyone you trust or your top reader, for example, and get their feedback before you publish it. You may also send a test email to your own email for you to see what it looks like via email before publishing your post. Once everything looks good for you, then just hit done. And then here, just click continue. And over here, you can set up if the newsletter post is for everyone. Or you can also set up this one only paid subscriber. I suggest if you're new here and you're just getting started, just make your newsletter post available for everyone so you can build your own image and get subscribers. So same with comments and you can also have your social preview over here. If you connected your Twitter account, you can also directly share this post to your Twitter. And once done, just click send to everyone. And that's it. Your newsletter is now published for everyone. So go back to your main dashboard and let's go to the top right corner and then just click this three lines over here. You can go to discover and over here you'll find here the different topics of the newsletter that you might be interested to read. And it's here where you can also found your publish post for your viewers. You can also save the topics if you like. So just click this icon. And of course, you can also open this post and see the writer info. And also you can subscribe to them. So I guess that's all for today's video. And I hope that you learned something today. And thank you for watching.